Well, Coach, a bit of everything in that game from Terry's to penalty shootouts, uh, but two points in the end. Yeah, we knew it was going to be a tough game, obviously. Uh, anytime you're coming up against uh, the Cardiff Devils, you're in for a tough game. And um, especially with our travel day back, you know, we, we wanted to make sure that uh, we approach it like a road game, so to speak. Obviously, it's nice to be home in front of your, your home crowd and, and in the comforts of our own locker room and stuff like that. But, uh, we, you know, we've been playing well on the road and, and our mindset uh, – uh, when we go out there, there's no excuses, and you got to find a way. And I thought the guys uh, approached that game like tonight, uh, and they did. They found a way in the end, and I think uh, you could kind of see in the third period there that their energy levels were, were kind of trumping ours, and uh, you know, our guys did a good job of, of hanging on, and, and then they got the job done in the end. And, of course, the last time you played Cardiff, a great result. But I think everyone knew that that wasn't going to be the side you would come up against tonight. Yeah, no. I, look, uh, I didn't have to say much. You know, we obviously talked about it, but uh, our guys are, are intelligent and, and they understand that uh, anytime you blow out a team, it's not a, a true uh, indication of that team. It's a, a bad night at the office, so to speak. So uh, we knew that they were going to come. And uh, look, this is a tight race and it's a long one. So. Um, obviously, the two points are huge. Uh, they get one tonight, so obviously we would prefer the two in regulation, but uh, we'll certainly take that to uh, uh, whichever way we can take it. So um, now the guys get some rest tomorrow, and then we're back to work on Tuesday. So it's you know, the games keep coming thick and fast, and, and we just got to keep going. As you say, back in action pretty quickly, and uh, Challenge Cup second leg. You obviously do have um, a good advantage heading into that. But um, Dundee have been in great form, taking their first defeat tonight in, in quite a number of games. Um, just what's going to be the focus going into that? Uh, be a professional. Um, it's never easy coaching or playing when you're up uh, by a substantial amount. And I think uh, we just got to approach it uh, like we would any other game. I'm not asking anybody to, to hurt themselves out there, but uh, we got to make sure that we do the job that, that needs to be done and, uh, and get out of there and get into the semifinals. And of course, in terms of form, the Giants have been on that big road swing, as, as you mentioned, um, but a great uh, run of wins put together, um, just a few defeats along the way. How positive are you feeling about where the team's at at this stage in the season? Very positive. Um, look, we went through this road swing uh, last season. I mean, it's not quite done yet. I mean, after Tuesday, we are going back on the road for another two and another tough two in Glasgow and Manchester and another tough travel weekend. So uh, we're not quite out of the woodworks in terms of travel, but uh, it's nice to be home. And uh, yeah, no, I'm certainly well impressed with this group and it's uh, been a pleasure uh, coaching them and it's been an easy season on me to be completely honest with you it's a great bunch of group a uh, great bunch of guys and uh, not a whole lot of problems for me to deal with uh, you know it's just I've been uh, the benefactor of a, of a good group and a good core group that's, that's been pushing us all season and uh, great human beings and that's uh, that's what you want as a team and, and you can see that on the ice uh, you know, night in, night out, and I thought that our discipline was, was spectacular tonight, and um, you know those things pay off. And of course, tonight the two points aside, um, a great night for the organisation, getting to um, sort of celebrate 18 years and uh, getting that first goal as well, and of course sparking that Terry toss. Um, just how important are those things um, to the organisation? Yeah, we certainly didn't want to be shut out tonight, um, so it was nice to get that first one out of the way. Um, it would have been interesting if the if the goal line technology uh, had revealed a no goal. So, but uh, I've seen that happen before. But no, I mean, we, look, we want to get that first goal out of the way, and then uh, we'll get back to worrying about the game. And sometimes that probably actually works against us because we lose any sort of momentum that we might have had from from scoring that goal. But uh, you know, it's a great cause, and it's a great spectacle for the fans as well. I think for some reason people like throwing things on the ice. So, um, but uh, look, I've been a part of bringing these teddy bears uh, into hospitals and uh, at Christmas time and, and seeing a smile on, on some kids' faces that really need it at that time. So it's a, it's a great cause, and uh, you know, I'm really happy to see Belfast and, and our fan base support it. And, um, and you'll see that you know, the kids will be the, the benefactors of, of their generosity. So it's, uh, it's a great event tonight, and I'm happy the way that uh, we can get them that final push there at the end and, and win the game for them as well.